Hotep, I am the Amin Osiris, the one and only undisputed God of law. We are deception stoppers. We are the 4D destroyers. I'm not a lawyer. This is not a law firm. I don't advocate that you don't support your human offspring. I simply advocate you made them in private, exercise your right to take care of them in private. Now, today, I got this email. I get a lot of emails, gentlemen, and I wanted to go over this one specifically, and I appreciate the sender. Um, for those of you uh, who are in Sacramento, you may have gotten a letter such as this with a different amount, and I'm going to show you how to deal with this type of bullshit, okay? Now, it says, warrant for your arrest. All right, first and foremost, your. Who are they trying to arrest? They're trying to arrest the obligor. If you have not separated yourself from the obligor, then guess what? This warrant is for you. When you learn how to separate yourself from the obligor, this warrant will not come, okay? Now, you have a $3,500 uh, $3, warrant for your arrest regarding the case number. Who's you? The obligor, non-custodial parent. If you are contacted by a law enforcement officer, you can be arrested and booked into jail. And for those of you who do not, not know what contacted means, if you get pulled over or you have any interaction with that pig, all right, then you're going to jail, okay? You can be arrested and booked into jail. I can help you clear up this warrant by scheduling you for a court, for, for court, and thereby avoiding jail time. Call me immediately so we can talk about your options Tuesday through Friday. All right, you'll notice why is the sheriff's name spelled in all capital letters, okay? And then it says Detective Child Support Unit. All right, so this is, if I was in this position and I was to receive a letter like this, what I would do is I would send a letter back. <laughs> all right, and this is how I would hit them, okay? Number one, okay? You now know that Title IV D is 100% contractual. Now, check this out. We're going to go over contracts overview, 4D contracts overview. This rule and its supplemental rules describe the process by which a child support enforcement agency, CSEA, enters into a 4D contract with a governmental entity. Number one, this tells you that the CSEA is not a governmental entity. They're going into contract with one or a private entity to provide 4D services for the what? The Child Support Enforcement Agency. This is a foreign corporation. So the government entity is providing 4D services for a foreign corporation operating in a state to receive federal financial participation reimbursement to offset the cost of the purchase of the services under a 4D contract. The principles of FFP reimbursement are described. All right, we're not going to go over that. Now, let's go and look at who these contractors are. The following terms and definitions apply to this rule and its supplemental rules. Slide down here. Right here, number four, or excuse me, number three. Contractor refers to a private, go private or governmental entity with whom the CSEA enters into a 4D contract. All right, CSEA, gentlemen, if you're not aware, is an acronym for Child Support Enforcement Agency, okay? Now, governmental entity includes the following entities in the same county as the CSEA. A court prosecutor, oh, wait, what do we have here? A sheriff. So this letter is not coming from a sheriff. It is coming from a 4D contractor, all right? Title 4D, number one, is in the executive branch. Number two, a contractor is outside of governmental authority, okay? Now, if you look at the contract, okay, look, sheriff, look, who's the first one? Court, prosecutor. Sheriff, clerk of the court, recorder's office. You get any information, if you get a letter from any of these governmental entities, all right, they're not governmental entities. They are simply contractors who have contracted with a private corporation, okay? And if you notice, look, A through F, it tells you what a governmental entity is, right? Let's go down here to chapter to, to, to 13. Private entity means a company, organization, or individual that does not meet the definition of governmental entity. All right? Let's look at the definitions again. All right? Governmental entity. Does anybody here see the Child Support Enforcement Agency defined as a governmental entity? No, it is not. Okay? 
So that's the first problem with that bullshit ass letter. The second problem is this, okay? The judiciary has enlisted, all right, the judiciary, what? That's the judicial, the judicial branch, all right? Not the executive branch, has enlisted the cooperation of the county sheriffs and local municipalities to use this form consistently for arrest on child support warrants. Here it is. Accurate reporting of child support warrant collections benefit the Title IV-D child support program as well as the sheriff's contract. Okay? So the sheriff is not <clears throat> performing his constitutional duties. Okay? The sheriff is performing under contract. And let's look at line seven. Look, 4D contract means a mutually binding legal relationship obligating a governmental entity to provide 4D services in a 4D case or perform other administrative duties of the Child Support Enforcement Agency that pertain to a 4D case in return for payment by the CSEA. So in essence, this is a bribe. The sheriff is being bribed to arrest you. All right, under that contract, that sheriff is accepting bribes. Look up bribe, look up the case laws dealing with bribe. I'm not gonna go into that. So if I was in a situation like this, what I would do is I would write the sheriff back. Number one, all right, um, and uh, I appreciate you blocking out the information for us, bro. But number one, all right, if this is going to an obligor, there's going to be a zip code attached to it. That zip code presents what? Federal jurisdiction, okay? By you accepting this mail, you have said that I am the obligor and I am under federal jurisdiction. And you have also broken the law because you opened mail that was not intended for you. That is a crime. Okay, stop opening mail that is not intended for you. I'm going to say it again. If you're not Hugh Hefner, why would you go to a bank and try to cash Hugh Hefner's $300 or $3,500 check? Number two, this sheriff is being bribed by the Child Support Enforcement Agency that is operating in the state. That is a foreign corporation, all right, operating in the state. So he is now an agent of a foreign principal. Okay, he might as well, look, he might as well be Russian, all right, sending this letter from Russia. So in this situation, what I would do is, number one, I would exempt myself from federal jurisdiction. Number two, I would write the sheriff back with this information, letting him know, well, hold on, you're under a Title IV-D contract, okay? The, the Child Support Enforcement Agency is not defined as a governmental entity. And number two, you have an oath to uphold the Constitution, which you just violated. And under that oath, you relinquished any citizenship that you had. So you're a foreigner. More importantly, all right, this, this, this document, all right, this is going to look. Accurate reporting and more collections, what? Benefit. What is benefit? Profit or gain from something. Look up the words, gentlemen. All right, so you're attempting to benefit. All right, and you're taking a bribe from a corporation that is not listed as a governmental entity. And what I would do is I would tell the sheriff in, in that letter, I want a copy of your Title IV-D contract. And please, don't waste your time lying and tell me that you don't have one because it says right here, okay? <laughs> there it is right here. You're a contractor. All right, you're under that contract, you're obligated to provide... 4D services, all right, or perform other administrative duties of the Child Support Enforcement Agency, which is not, look, it is, what is it? It's a private entity, means a company, organization, or individual that does not meet the definition of governmental entity. That means if a sheriff comes to your door and starts to arrest you, you have every right to crack his fucking head open, okay? Now, there's going to be consequences for that, but here's the catch. All right, instead of going through all that, why don't you simply write the sheriff back, right? Zip code exempt, real land, North America, non-domestic, okay? And ask the sheriff for a copy of his Title IV-D or his or her Title IV-D contract. All right, and tell the sheriff, look, don't bother lying because we know that you got one, all right? Every person, and I mean person, I'm not gonna say man, every person, 
all right, who indulges in this contract is outside of government. Okay, they are outside of the constitutional duties. They're outside of their constitutional oath. That is treason. That is uh, uh, um, uh, treason is punishable by death. Okay, not that they're going to do it. Okay, it's uh, misuse of office. It's violation of oath of office. All right, sheriff ain't supposed to be involved with child support. He's supposed to be keeping he or she is supposed to be keeping child support off your ass. So I would write the uh, I would let the sheriff know. Well, number one, you're under a Title IV-D contract, all right, and here's your proof. This is a law, okay? Number two, all right, what you're doing, this $3,500 warrant is only going to benefit your, your contract. It ain't going to benefit me. And the government was created to be a benefit, security, and protection of the people. And if you're not doing that, I'm not, you're not obligated to respond, all right? Stop accepting mail with zip codes on it, all right, and write back to uh, Sacramento County Sheriff Scott R. Jones. And look, tell him, tell him this. I want your oath of office. All right. I want to see your bond information. I want your bond. All right. The bond that uh, I think there's like a uh, sheriff's have to have anywhere of ten to $20,000 bond. All right. I want your bond information. I want the oath of office that you swore to and signed. All right. I want your foreign registration statement. I want your anti-bribery statement because you violated all three of them, all right? This is a bribe. This sheriff is not doing this under the Constitution. He's doing this, oops, he's doing this in return for payment from the Child Support Enforcement Agency, which is not a governmental entity, okay? That's the only reason he's doing it, is to gain funds, which means he is being bribed, and you need to be filing criminal charges against the sheriff for accepting that bribe. I'm the Ahmed Osiris. And one more thing. Okay. One more thing. All right. We already know their Title IV D contracts. Let me show you something else. We're going to go down to the types of contracts. All right. Let's see. Types of contracts. Where's that? A 4D contract with the sheriff in the same county as the CSCA to provide services, a process, including warrants for arrest. He's getting fucking bribed. This is bribery at its best, gentlemen. So. If I was in this situation, what I would do is I would write the sheriff back and I would let the sheriff know, well, first of all, you're accepting bribes from a foreign corporation, okay? You are outside of your oath. You're outside of the Constitution. And therefore, you're going to turn, your, you're going to call me and explain to me, okay, about this, all right? Because it can't be rebutted. Remember, gentlemen, if you use their facts against them, they can't come back and say that you're wrong. Okay, it's easy. There must be, there has to be a 4D contract. There always has to be a 4D contract. But with the sheriff, all right, this contract is for what? Service of process, so they get paid. All right, they get bribes. All right, I'm not gonna say they get paid. They get bribes to serve documents to obligors, and they also get bribed for serving warrants of arrest on obligors. Okay, and more importantly, check this out. Look, the court shall certify that all court hearings are conducted in compliance with Title 4D of the Social Security Act. Title 4D, which is under Title 42, the Public Health and Welfare, was never enacted into positive law. So the sheriff is openly admitting that that warrant is under is was issued under color of law. And if you've ever been arrested on a child support warrant, all right, then guess what? You have what? Deprivation of rights under color of law, false arrest, false imprisonment. All right, and not to mention. The sheriff is now, he's violating his oath, all right? He's violating, he doesn't have a foreign registration statement, all right? He's violating the anti-bribery statement, which he probably does not have, and he's operating outside of the Constitution in a private capacity for a private corporation. And more importantly, if we go back to seven, all right, he's doing that in return for payment by the CSEA. That is a fucking bribe. I'm the Ahmed Osiris, bang my email, uh, 4D underscore destroyer at yahoo.com and I will show you how to respond or teach you how to respond or respond for you to documents, to bullshit documents such as this, okay? This is so fucking easy, fellas. It's just, I mean, look, it's so easy a caveman can do it. I'm stealing some Geico shit, okay? So, Scott R. Jones, sheriff, and the brother who sent me this um, uh, 
uh, bullshit ass letter, not saying you're bullshit. All right, but all right, hit me up and I will show you how to respond to this. See, look, now it's time for Scott R. Jones, sheriff, to go to jail for accepting bribes. He ain't supposed to be accepting bribes. Remember them bitches that went to jail for bribing the school all right, and paying the school for uh, to get them their kids into college tuition, the movie stars? They went to jail even though they didn't get, you know, no serious jail time. They still went to jail, okay? Now, if they was black, they'd have been under the jail. All right, no, no, no disrespect to my Caucasoid friends out there, all right, but that's just how the system works. All right, there was a lady, there was two cases. One lady, I think in Pennsylvania, uh, I can't remember the other state, one lady sent her son to a different school and lied on the application. She got 12 years. Both of them got 12 years, okay? But these white rich actresses, they got, what, four days in jail, 14 days in jail, all right, for the same shit, okay? So it's time, fellas. Again, do not reinvent the wheel. Use their information against them, okay? If you got a letter like this, all right, then hit me back, and I will show you how to comp uh, compose a letter. And I can guarantee you, if you compose the proper letter, right, the proper documentation letter with this information uh, and this information, guess what? I can guarantee you that warrant will be off you in less than, look, it'll be off you in 24 hours, more than likely, okay? Now, I've often told people, they say, well, what's the best way to get rid of a warrant? All right. I usually would tell you, all right, if it means that much to you, go down and pay him something or call and make arrangements. However, a real man, you're going to know the facts and you're going to send them the, this letter back. Say, hold on, number one, nah, 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 man. You're taking a bribe, okay? I want I, And demand this shit from them. They have to give it to you. I want your oath of office because now you're in violation of your oath of office. You, you're getting payment from a corporation that's not even a government entity. It's a private entity. That's a bribe, okay? Look up what a bribe is. I'm the Ahmed Osiris. Like I said, bang my email, 4D underscore destroyer at yahoo.com. If you have received bullshit like this in the mail, number one, you're fucked because you shouldn't be opening mail that's meant for the obligor with a zip code attached to it, okay? You should always send it back. Number two, if you have not put in a zip code exempt affidavit and a notice uh, and the facts in support thereof of your notice to not uh, uh, to, to uh, your notice that you are not accepting mail with zip codes, uh, and the reason why you're not accepting mail with a zip code, this was not sent to a man, gentlemen. This was sent to an obligor. This was sent to a United States citizen. This was sent to a corporation, and more importantly, that corporation, pursuant to 20 CFR 422.103D, is the property of the Social Security Administration who under 5 U.S.C. 301, subsection 301, is responsible to pay the $3,500 debt on its property. You are the number holder. You are not the number owner. And I'll say it again, okay? Let me zoom it in here, okay? If I was driving, if you, if you let me use your car and I went downtown and accumulated five, six tickets on your car, those tickets ain't going to come to me. They're going to go to the registered owner of that car. This should not be coming to you. This should be going to the Social Security Administration. And that's exactly, if I was in your situation, not that I would accept mail, I would a zip code on it. All right, but this should be, this right here needs to be sent to the Social Security Administration. All right. The commissioner, tell the commissioner, yo, this, this, that, this $3,500 warrant is for your property. You need to pay that shit. <laughs> All right, fellas, it don't get no easier than this. Hit me up when you're ready to be free. I got you. All right, hotel.